In May 2017, I went to Kenya as part of a cultural exchange with three tutors from Valley and Vale Community Arts. We were joined by two other tutors from Ethiopia. Kenya is, of course, famous for the Maasai Mara, a huge nature reserve with many amazing wild animals. <laughs> Living in the Maasai Mara are the Maasai tribes who still dress in traditional colourful clothing and carry hunting spears. When we arrived, we were greeted with a Maasai welcome ceremony, which involved Maasai singing and jumping. <laughs> During our visit, we stayed with some of the Maasai in a sparsely populated village on the edge of the Maasai Mara, this housed one of the schools we will be visiting called Tepespa Primary School. When we visited Tepespa School, the children were really excited to see us. They greeted us with singing and dancing. Both the boys and the girls at the school wear their hair shaved quite short. Uniforms are worn on some days and traditional Maasai clothes are worn on others. The other school we visited was a secondary school called Enkateng Lepa, which is a boarding school for rescued girls as well as boys. A lot of the girls in Kenya are subjected to circumcision or FGM at a young age, along with forced marriage in exchange for cows. Both the schools we visited are run by an amazing headmistress called Helen, a Maasai woman who has set up the schools and charities to help to rescue girls. She is passionate about raising awareness of the issues of FGM and forced marriage in exchange for cattle. In traditional Maasai culture, a girl can be traded for three cows and will usually be forced to marry an old man who already has wives. When he dies, she is not allowed to remarry and so becomes a widow who has to fend for herself. The school motto is, don't exchange girls for cows, give them education. FGM is illegal in Kenya, but it still goes on and often the young girls get infected and die early because of it. Whilst at the school, I taught some of the girls to use animation software and we made a short animation all about the problems of FGM. How we can stop FGM? Put police stations close to the Manyata so that everyone is safe. We all need to read and girls are happy when they are in school. The girl found the cow and her father saying this is the girl you are going to marry. Having a police station close by help the girls to feel safe they can they can use for help when they need it boys and girls are all equal a girl could be anything she wants to be here is a typical story of one of the girls who was rescued by helen i remember it was on a saturday that day i finished all the house chores after coming from playing with my ma with my friends at their house and my brothers because I went with them, when I came back I saw a, a large herd of cows entering into our boma. I saw my father talking to a very old man. He was bending while catching a stick. While they were entering inside the house, I went and tried to 
hear what they were saying. I heard that they were saying that there's a girl of mine who I'm going to give you. I never knew what to do because I was shocked and my mother and my father never had money to pay for my school fees. And they said because I was the big girl, they should give me out so that they can help the boys because in our Maasai culture, they usually used to think that girls are not supposed to be learning. They should be staying at home and doing their work. The next day on Sunday, I remembered my mother had gone to fetch water to go and wash clothes. My father had gone to to herd the cattle with my other young brother so that he can teach them. And I was left alone to do the house chores to work. I escaped and ran to my aunt's home. When I reached there, I told her my story. She was shocked that that I was going to be circumcised and then being being married. So it's when she brought me, she stayed with me for some days. She did for me the school shopping, everything. So and then she brought me to Helen. Helen also helped the widows of the village set up small businesses selling traditional crafts such as jewellery, beekeeping, candle making, as well as raising their own cattle. Whilst there, we visited a widow's village and helped to build a house using traditional materials. I've made this video to highlight the great work that Helen is doing to provide children with an education at the school and the problems of FGM and forced marriage that are faced and tackled by the school. It costs £250 to sponsor a girl at the school which covers both her education and board for a year. If you would like to contribute towards helping Helen to continue her amazing work, please follow the link at the end of the video.